One of the coolest things that has ever happened to me was that I worked inside the Japanese National Parliament. And if that wasn't interesting enough, I've got a last name that reminds suspicious people of the CIA in Langley, Virginia. After completing law school in Japan, by some quirk of fate, I found myself inside Japanese politics and this experience truly changed my life. In fact, it was such huge news that it was reported in newspapers all over Japan. Foreigner in the Diet was on TV and in the radio and even outside Japan. This remarkable story was reported in a segment on the news program 60 Minutes. I worked on Japanese elections for Prime Minister, I wrote briefings, I welcomed foreign dignitaries, I traveled throughout the entire nation. As a result, I have come to know this country unlike even many Japanese. This has given me an insight on how the political machinery works and how society actually gets things done. And it has helped me achieve things that not only a foreign lawyer would have difficulty approaching, but which are outside the bounds even considered by Japanese Bangoshi. And that is what I would like to talk about. Hi, my name is Timothy Langley and I have been providing counseling and legal advice to companies and institutions in Japan for the past 30 years. When I could not sit for the Japanese bar because of my nationality, I joined a member of the upper house essentially becoming the first foreigner inside the Japanese parliament. Through this experience I gained invaluable knowledge of the political system here. As a component of this work I traveled with political figures here and internationally and polish my bilingual skills to a fine sheen. Later in my career, this background allowed me to manage the trips of George H.W. Bush, John Scully, and tons of other political and business illuminaries on their respective trips to Japan. While in the parliament, a critical feature of my position was working on election campaigns. I worked on two of them for prime minister during my time, and a really critical one for a specific district in Osaka. The objective in Osaka was to win one of five seats in a very tough district that controlled the construction of an island being built to host the international airport out in the middle of the bay. After six weeks of campaigning, we won by a magnificent landslide. So big was this win and so crucial that my candidate went on to become foreign minister. That was truly a great experience that not many can say they have had. You might think that as a foreigner living in Japan, the political system is esoteric, distant, removed, that it has no effect on you as a non-Japanese. But as a matter of fact, if you own a company or if you work for one in Japan, this entity that has been formed in Japan and that pays taxes is indeed affected by the political system. And it has a voice within it. And that is really where the rubber meets the road. Depending on the size of your company and the products or services that you sell, through lobbying, you might be able to affect or impact Japanese legislation or regulations to work in your favor. That is what Japanese companies do. Lobbying is done in Japan, and Japanese companies do it all the time. However, the world of Japanese politics is a rarefied atmosphere. People use an elevated form of speech to conduct business. They hold themselves and even dress in a certain manner. There is a set way of approaching lobbying and foreigners naturally really don't know how to do it as it is somewhat of a closed world to them. As a result, about 20 years ago, I created and instituted a lobbying effort on behalf of American companies doing business in Japan. Under the auspices of the American Chamber of Commerce, this initiative has been successfully conducted every year since. Japan is a very sophisticated country. Large Japanese corporations have, in most instances, an elderly statesman facilitating their lobbying movement. He or she can open doors and gain access to important meetings and quietly influence change. For many years, I wore two hats at Apple Computer and at General Motors. On the one hand, I was their general counsel, and on the other, I was their vice president for government affairs and public policy. In the capacity of running government affairs, part of my job was to ensure that when the chairman came to Tokyo, and if he wanted to meet with the prime minister, I set that up. I acted as translator, cleaned up afterwards, and made sure that the issues were later followed to a successful conclusion. 
There are really only a handful of foreigners who can lobby successfully in Japan, and most of them are already bonded into certain companies as you would expect. Very expensive players. If you have any questions on how to get a stronger hold of a certain market here in Japan, or how to build a better coalition to get your products off the dock and into the warehouse, give us a call, visit our webpage, come in for a consultation. We'll help you through it. We have successfully achieved great results through lobbying in Japan, and I'm sure we can help you too.